Temperatures are dipping across the state, but 48 years ago, the winter chill brought snow to an unusual part of regional Queensland. Tonight, Peter Byrne takes us back to one of the state's rarest weather events. Yungala in the Clark Range, west of Mackay, is an Aboriginal word for land in the clouds. And it's where former dairy farmers Ted and Agnes Keast lived for more than 50 years. They were used to cold weather, but on the afternoon of the 19th of July, 1965, conditions took a chilly turn. It was just like, just like little tiny flake, like a greyish colour it was. The couple were about to milk their cattle when they saw snow begin to fall. If you burn paper and a little ash goes up in the air, well, that was what it looked like and it was coming down. And you'd put your hand out like that and it'd just touch it and it was gone. It's still the most northern part of Australia to have recorded snowfall. It was bitterly cold, but it only lasted a few seconds and then it's gone. The temperature dipped to minus six that day on Mount Dalrymple. As the Weather Bureau chart shows, sub-zero temperatures were recorded well into Queensland's tropics. Snow also fell that day on the Bunya Ranges, north to Yungala and as far west as Roma. I was at the Bureau of Meteorology Training School in Melbourne at the time and the synoptic chart saw a high well up over the continent combined with a deep low over the Tasman Sea. The result, an Antarctic blast, cold southwest to southerly winds, penetrating well north into Queensland and resulting in a significant cold outbreak. 35 years later, the winter chill saw the spectacle happen again at Yungala. Marilyn Wright had just moved to the area from sunny Darwin. It was sort of funny because the sky went a particularly strange colour and we knew it was pretty cold, but um, just to ha suddenly, suddenly have this stuff falling from the sky, it was like, oh, my God. There hasn't been any official snowfall since, but with another chilly winter underway, it's always on the minds of locals who are now much better prepared. Well, with most of the frosts, we'd have the neighbours bring the children down to dance around and make footprints in the frost. You know, they call it snow. This is Peter Byrne for Seven News.